<clears throat> hey, I just wanted to um, say I appreciate everybody for all the support. You know what I'm saying? With Big RU, for me, my personal channel, um, I feel like this is a big change in my life. But for any like goals or accomplishments you want to make in life, you have to go through like uncomfortable times and you know what I'm saying and changes to adjust to keep elevated. So that's that's what I'm trying to do in my life right now. So with that being said, uh, what made you get into the YouTube scene and how did that all get started in the first place? Um, I started um, the YouTube was all season for I just came back from Europe won a championship over there um, and it was all season. Uh, I went on a little cruise, came back to Dr. Orlando, and then I just came back to Tampa because my mom was in Tampa. And then people were saying like it was a run. So, you know, so I was just trying to get my legs from under me. So I went out to the run. Um, it was ended up being slim in the Wild Hunts run. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, it was a good crowd came out, uh, good energy. And then they were saying like Moon was the 1v1 like go at the time. So, you know what I'm saying, like my people in my city were saying, you feel me, they were going to put me up. I guess Moon, we paid for a little hundred dollars, we and then I ended up beating him. So like that was really like my like debut for real, for real, and when it comes to this YouTube stuff. What would you say your favorite moment for the Wild Hunt was? If I had to choose a favorite moment moment for the time I was at Wild Hunt, it had to be Panama City for sure. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That was my like debut as like from part takeovers. Like I've been, I was doing like little things with the Wild Hunt with like content, but like that was my real debut um, with a part takeover and like a live crowd and like all the interactions within the fans and stuff. So. What you were doing to that boy? He was getting fried. He was getting fried. Big guard. Big guard, you. Join the movie. That was real cool. I had a great time out there. Like you know, what I'm saying the crowd was uh, expecting me to be there and like like planned on me being there and like put they like most physical players against me. So like it was real. It was a vibe for sure. Like and then like the whole city showed love. So I would have to definitely say Panda my city. So what's something you'll miss about being a part of the Wild Hunt? Um, I mean, that was like, they, those are the people that gave me my first chance. You know what I'm saying? The fellas, the gang, you know what I'm saying? Moon, somebody I feel like a brother to me. You know what I'm saying? Scotty was so, like, pivotal in, like, helping me become, like, or just showing me, like, this can be um, something I can, like, choose as a career path. And, like, Slim, like, just putting me on this platform, his big platform. And letting me like show my talents and to the world for real, for real. Cause you know what I'm saying? I've always been skilled, always been like a good player. But like, you know what I'm saying, until you had that platform, people don't really realize like how skilled or how much of a good player you are. Cause like like even my brand, Big R U, like that was I had that before even joining the Wild Hunt, but I didn't get nearly like the love or the recognition that I do now and the support I do now, um, until like I got on that big platform and really got to show, you know what I'm saying, myself as a big art. When did you make the decision that you were going to be moving forward with your brand? Um, I feel like it was, I've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like a pivotal moment or a big moment for me that was like, made me the size when I like, injured, I got injured, I hurt my own. Uh, for people that don't know, I had sprained my LCL, but like when that first happened, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought I tore something. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I just went into like thinking about like my future, you know what I'm saying? And like, where I want to, what I want to do with this, like my platform and, you know what I'm saying, my fans and my support and where, like, where are my goals and like how far I want to take this. So I feel like once I got injured, um, I had to like really take a deep look into like what I plan on doing and like really see stuff from like outside in. So why are you leaving the Wild Hunt and what's next for Nas and Big Guard you? Um, I'm leaving the Wild Hunt simply for like, Two things, um, stability, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was first coming on the scene, like I was collabing with a lot of different influencers, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get my name in front of as many people as possible and and like just get eyes on me in front of with, you know what I'm saying? Nick Briz, you know what I'm saying? Devin the Lab, as many eyes as possible, you know what I'm saying? So 
and when I got injured, like a lot of stuff, a lot of that went on a pause, and like that's how I kind of support my lifestyle. So, and two, um, just growth. Like um, my my next step is a, uh, I feel like it's a step forward. You know what I'm saying? It's a step where I can put my brand on a more bigger platform, a, a global, you know what I'm saying, a stage. And uh, yeah, I just you know what I'm saying. Like I said, people, um, if you want to make any like real growth in your life. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be willing to change and, and adjust to different situations. So, I mean, if anybody's watching this and um, you feel like you going, you have a hard decision to make, you know what I'm saying? Just know, you know what I'm saying? God, you always pray to God and ask Him for guidance, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? If you really um, wanna grow in your life and, and achieve great things, you gotta be willing to be uncomfortable and, and change. So, you know, feel me? That's, that was like my next thing. I wanna, like, I wanna take Big Are You to the next level because I believe in it so much. I want people, athletes, you know what I'm saying, that um, are bigger and get pushed to a, a forward or a center or to a, a football or wrestling or something, you know what I'm saying, that um, our size is not a weakness, it's really a strength. Um, it's just not used in the right way. So um, that's what Big Guard is always all about. So I want to take that to the biggest stage I can. So with all that being said, I know everybody been waiting for this moment, you know what I'm saying? I never really got my like signing day moment. I, I already knew where I was going when I was signing, so I feel like this is, you know what I'm saying? I'm an old head, so you feel me? We're gonna, we gonna take it back to our glory days. And so, I'm saying, as me, as what y'all been all waiting for, um, my next steps, my next move, I'll be taking my talents. To the Ball's Life East Coast squad, man. I'm, I, I shout out to A. Millie, Duke, Tim, you know what I'm saying, Mount, D. Bones, Biggie, all y'all, everybody in the Ball's Life family. I appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, allowing me to take this next step in my journey. And um, I'm saying, I just got, I just, I'm just happy and um, ready for it to happen. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see me on Ball's Life soon. Um, Ball's Life East Coast squad versus the world. And uh, it is what it is. So with the big news being said, what are you most excited about when joining the East Coast squad? I mean, like, I played with a couple of them. I mean, I played with all of them um, when I was with the scrimmage, and I've been knowing Tim for a long time, you know what I'm saying, him being from Tampa. So, you know what I'm saying, I'm just excited. And E, you know what I'm saying, Big E, like, me and him went to college together. So, you know what I'm saying, that was one of my dogs, like, road dogs. So, like, I'm just excited to be with, like, a whole bunch of people that play at a high level like I did. I mean, not saying... Wild Hunt didn't, but I'm just saying, like, these are all players I knew for uh, a, a good amount of time. A. Millie being so skillful, Island Boy Q being so skillful, Big E went to me and him went to college together. Um, Tim, me and him been playing together in Tampa for so long. Duke just play, competing against him a lot. And um, I think D Bones, oh yeah, D Bones, out of me and him, we even we had a little, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? It was all cool, it was all respected at the end of the day, so. But, I, but before anybody get to speculating or thinking some about some, there was no foul play, you know what I'm saying? There was no recruitment done. There was a mutual interest between both parties. And, and I feel like we both came to agreement that it would benefit both of us, but there was no recruitment. But I was like, did not recruit me. You know what I'm saying? We, I talked to them, so don't ever, don't think that. So you posted your first YouTube video in November of last year, and you've already amassed just about 23,000 subscribers on YouTube. How do you feel like you grew so fast? Um, I feel like Wild Hunt for sure, like, you know what I'm saying, just being on that platform helped me like, you know what I'm saying, show and like people like, like was drawn to me, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll say like my, the biggest thing was uh, next chapter and the one-on-ones and like, like how well Scotty put that together to make it like tell a story. Like with me, I feel like next chapter and me were like coming up at the same time. Um, when, when I started to emerge, next chapter started to emerge and you know what I'm saying, like we've both been growing so fast and like so exponentially that it's just been real crazy and um, I just appreciate next chapter for all that he did for me, like you know what I'm saying, like that was, a, the, it made me, it, it's, that's my niche now, like one on ones is what people want to see me play and that's my niche so I feel like um, it allowed me to show people, you know what I'm saying, how talented I really am. You know what I'm saying? Five on fives, you can get lost in the mix, but one on ones is really like, it's mono y mono. You know what I'm saying? You, whoever across from me gotta, gotta stick me. Hey, yo! By himself is no help. So I feel like that really um, set me apart from most people in the YouTube space.
So how was the relationship between you and the Wild Hunt at this time? I mean, like I said, like there was there's no beef between me and anybody on the Wild Hunt. Um, like I said, Moon is like one of my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Janelle, Slim, and all them. Like I, I wish all of them the best. And Scotty, you know what I'm saying? Like me and Scotty, you know what I'm saying? We, we we worked on this together, so you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate them a lot. So I feel like there's no beef between us, you know what I'm saying? I know it's like, it's not easy news to hear and it's not like the best news for like, you know what I'm saying, the wild hunt, but you know, I hope and pray for the best for all of them. So is there anything else that you feel like you need to get off your chest regarding the big news? Um, like I said, um, I know some people are not gonna respect my decision and um, some people are, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like this was the best decision for me you know what I'm saying? So I took the step necessary to make it happen. Um, like I said, I hope like when the hardest is in, is in your life, you choose what's best for you to uh, elevate your life. But like I said, I love Wild Hunt to death. I'm East Coast squad now, you know what I'm saying? So shit, maybe we might get an East Coast squad with Wild Hunt game. You never know. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. We out of here, Big R.U. on the map.